Hey guys, it's Marianne Chapman and I'm going to chat to you today about watercolour brushes and how to store them and this great idea I came up with for um, storing your brushes uh, long term and during painting. Uh, you can see it here. I've got here four of my very favourite brushes that I'm using a lot at the moment and my little cutesy version of a brush holder. So watercolour brushes um, cannot be stored in the water jar. If you leave them stored downwards in a water jar, they will lose very slowly, lose that beautiful tip. Watercolour brushes, a good watercolour brushes brush has that spring back. And if you leave it stored in a watercolour in a container of water, then it's going to slowly take on that um, shape because they're quite soft and they'll slowly um, lose that beautiful tip. And you know, then they're way less awesome. So um, you need to be storing them uh, flat. You can, once they're dry, store them upright, but I like to leave them drying in a near flat position. So uh, my latest little invention is my own version of a watercolor brush holder. So here it is. I'm just gonna move my four favorite brushes away over here for a second. It is a pencil. It's just a wooden pencil. And uh, it's just a wooden colored pencil and then um, I make them in all these pretty colors. So to make your own, you need an oscillating sander and uh, you they really only take me about, I don't know, five minutes to make each one, probably five minutes to clean them up. So they're probably about 10 minutes to make each one. So not much at all. Um, but you do need an oscillating sander and in order to make these ridges this one I've made five ridges But of course you can make as many or as few ridges as you want and you can make the ridges deeper um, If you want to by holding it longer at the oscillating sander So an oscillating sander is a sander that moves um, up and down So all you do is line it up on the bed of the oscillating sander really flat it's really important not allowed to allow the pencil to roll forwards or backwards whilst you're doing this you switch the oscillating sander on it has a basically a sanding belt that moves in an up and down direction and you you just push the pencil against it and as i say keep a really firm hold on the pencil so that it doesn't roll backwards and, um, and forwards and then uh you can do as many notches as you uh, want and then you can use it I'm just gonna put it back in position to hold your pencils in position my this one is moving a little bit partly because it's sitting on this um soft towel but on a, a harder surface it rolls less so what happens if you store your brushes in a wet place is this a lot of brushes are like this one here this is an artist first choice brush. So it's got this um, painted glossy surface and I'm just gonna move this up a little closer. You can start to see this cracking that occurs on these um, brushes that have been, um, the, it's got a wooden handle and then it's been coated with a, a glossy. Paint. So slowly it starts to crack off. So, and this is the same brand and with that pretty blue. And um, then slowly this, paint starts to crack off like that. I'll just push some of it off. You can see that cracking off. And it's really annoying to be painting and finding little tiny bits of um, handle gloss on your finger and it slows you down. You don't want that stuff while you're painting to be slowing you down. This one, I've slowly solved the this issue by um, just wrapping it with some of this blue packing tape. It is has totally allowed me to continue to, this, to use this brush. This is uh, quite a cheap brush and all I use this cheap brush for is to clean my palette. That's thus why the uh, tip of it looks so disgusting. So, um, Watercolour brushes need to be stored flat while they dry. If you store them upright while they dry, you have you risk the um, possibility that that extra water is going to spend a long time on your floor. And it's not ideal uh, to have water just sitting there and uh, pooling. So if you store them down, I like to, when I um, have finished painting, remove the excess water on a towel, and then I store them on the same brush holder that I use while I'm painting to allow them to dry. And then they're just sitting there ready for me to come some more. 
and um, then I paint things like this. This is an example of um, a series of gum leaves that I've been working on in uh, watercolour using Holbein watercolour. I absolutely love the Holbein colours. It is something that I've been working on using my brush holder and my brushes and it is um, a gum leaf series that I've been working on and I used Holbein uh, Cerulean Blue, Holbein Cobalt Blue, Holbein's Cobalt Turquoise Light and Holbein's uh, Burnt Sienna. They're all watercolours and I've used a range of methods to get all these beautiful um, textures uh, using Holbein watercolours. I love them.